What is up guys, I'm Stevie Brave. Thank you for joining me on The Brave Angler. Today, we just got a package in from Six Gill Fishing and I am super excited about this. Today, we got the Mar bait casting reel, eight to one gear ratio, very fast reel, super excited about it. It has their proprietary magnetic braking system. No other reel has that other than what they make and I'm really excited to try it out. It's supposed to be a very easy bait casting reel to cast. And to pair it, I actually also got a Finier medium heavy seven foot six inch swim bait pole. And I am really excited to pair these up, see how they do, because as you guys know, I absolutely love my swim bait. So let's get into this unboxing and we'll get into my first impressions on the reel. Uh, at a later date, we'll actually do a review after I put this reel and rod through the crucible, as you could say. Florida fishing down here is really rough, so all my rods are all scratched up. So we'll just see how this one holds up to my style of fishing. But without further ado, let's get into the unboxing of this. So just right quick, just some of the other stuff that I got. Uh, I actually got one of their hats. I kind of really love their Distress logo with the six gill. So I ended up getting this hat. It's an uh, olive with the khaki, uh, kind of my style. So you know, I'll be sporting that later in this video. I also, uh, they were nice enough to include a six gill uh, sticker. You know, that's probably gonna go on my tackle box. But without further ado, this is probably what you guys are here for. This is the six gill Hamar uh, nine plus one bearings, the eight to one gear ratio, like I said before and let's see what this bad boy looks like i haven't pre-opened this guy so we are going to be unboxing this completely together so you're going to see everything that comes how it's packaged all that as you can see there's not much um, as for packaging but let's see look at that guys oh yeah that is super smooth we got audible click from the spool tension knob. Uh, like I said, a magnetic system, audible click. And like I said, as you can see, this isn't a stereotypical magnet system that normally has like the five magnets or six magnets over here with uh, a different thing. So um, I'm really excited to try this out. Honestly, guys, I really gotta say, I really love this color scheme. Um, for all of you who don't know, uh, I am a police officer. So the blue kind of reminds me of the thin blue line flag. You know, as you guys can see, I me mean, wearing it on my hat. I really like that. This handle feels great. So you guys know, this is a aluminum frame construction with carbon fiber side plates. Help kind of give you a firm base to, you know, set the hook, you know, if you're really cranking down, gives you a little bit more stability. And then with the carbon fiber sides, it just kind of helps lighten it up. It is fairly light in the hand. We'll see how it feels once we get it on a rod. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Here it is guys. Sorry, try to get that tip in there. Like I said, it is a very long rod. Seven foot, six inches again. Medium heavy. Show you guys the cork handle. Now this is actually a rubberized cork handle. And it feels really good, really comfortable. And then you have your locking in. Actually, they advertise this as a flipping rod. I, I like my swim rods to be a little bit longer, just so you have that um, tip. Uh, and backbone to really set the hook. Let's go ahead and put the Hamar on here. See how the combo looks. That is a good looking combo. I tell you what, I am super excited. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up and then we're gonna go down to the lake and cast with it. I'll give you my first impressions. As of right now, guys, like straight out of the package, I don't see any defects. And like I said, the craftsmanship, it's actually, even though it's such a long rod, it's actually really light. I think we're ready to go slay some bass. But we'll get this all, all set up. We're going to put 20 pound test on it, some uh, swim bait high busa hooks, and we'll probably use the big mega bass, you know, because that's really what I, I'm building this rod for is, you know, uh, my medium sized swim baits. So let me get this all set up, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so we're out here on Moss Buff with the uh, Hamar and Finier combo that I've set up for uh, swim bait. All right, so right here we got the Haibusa size five quarter ounce swim bait hook, four and a half 
inch super zoom swim bait, the pumpkin green, or excuse me, the watermelon. And right here we got, you know, pretty good distance. So we're gonna just try out, have a couple casts. You know, it's not really time for, or the best conditions for a swim bait, but you never know. So hopefully we might be able to catch a bass off this. So I actually have this set up like pretty much all the way loose and it started to bird's nest there, but as you can see, it kind of corrected itself out. I'm actually really surprised on that because they advertise it as being one of the easiest bait casters. Normally I start off with my brakes up kind of tight. I can kind of get a feel for it, but that was just straight out of the box, completely loose. Honestly, like I, that, that could have been really bad guys, especially like with brand new floor carbon on here. And this isn't anything fancy. It's just striking 20 pound test, 100% uh, fluorocarbon. So that's better. And I'm not really even trying guys when it comes to casting this. This is kind of effortless. So I'm first impressions, this thing is absolutely killer. I mean, this is a pretty smooth combo. And I'm really not controlling it that much with my with my thumb like I'm pretty much just casting it letting it kind of string out I'm really impressed guys old fluke has seen better days so we'll try and cast all the way over there to the middle of the this river where all these uh this cover is because if there are bass over here that is definitely where they're going to be Yeah, guys, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Like this thing just feels so effortless to cast far. The rod is like just really making it effortless and this reel is just super smooth. I got a little, got a little gunk there. But yeah, no, like I think I made a good choice on this one, guys. First impression of this reel and rod, like it casts super smooth. It's almost effortless. I don't really have to worry about my thumb control that much. So honestly, I'm, I'm very impressed, especially for the money. Like, I mean, this reel, uh, goes for about 159 ish uh, don't quote me on that I'll put the correct price down in the description and this rod is about 150 right now they have a sale where you can get two um, technique rods for like 179 which is a crazy deal when these are normally 150 a piece and like I said guys this I can't even stress to you guys how good this feels. So if you haven't checked them out, definitely go check them out. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Also like it, share it, turn that notification bell on. 